Hello, let's gonna do some work on Google Cloud. Today we're going to create a scheduler. We're going to create a storage and we're going to create a um, PubSub topic to work with a broker. First thing I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to create a, a bucket on the storage. So let's just enable the Cloud Shell. Then we're going to create a storage. I'm gonna have on the storage already. Okay, let's, I agree. Okay, so let's start with Cloud Shell, we can close. I could go with the create a bucket, but I want to run it commands. Then later, Okay, again, it's connecting layer. Again, to create a pub sub topic, I'm gonna run everything on commands to avoid be uh, changing page every time. So first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna create a bucket. Our bucket is here. Now we're going to create a topic. I'm gonna call it Crown Topic. Crown Topic. Okay. Then now we're going to create a scheduler and show what we're going to do. To cloud the scheduler jobs create a pub sub publisher job. The scheduler the Chrome expression our topic we just created this topic and it's going to pass this message James Smith. It's pretty yes. Successfully, would like to create one. Yep, yeah. engine. Let's run that the new S Central third gen. It's just creating. Okay, now let's run it. Yes. You know why we can also here, gonna clone my uh, project that I've done. I'm gonna share this on the comment. Oh, sorry. Let's get into the packaging. GCP pub sub. And now you're gonna have to run a command which I'm going to show you, like just a Maven command. I'm gonna prepare it one second. It's going to be a Maven compile command. Ready. So here you're gonna have a Maven compile, the execution, the uh, Java. With the, I'm gonna share here the the GitHub. That's better. In this case, you're gonna run the compile Java. It's showing our class, main class, the product itself, the topics my uh, the runner and window size and after it's gonna run gonna have this on my bucket so let's it's gonna be on the comments the the repository 
Okay, now I we can go to pop sub. Okay. We are already receiving messages, as you guys can see on the chart. And in Phil, I'm going to leave this page here. We're not going to create a subscription. I was running everything I need. I'm going to run that. Here I'm going to go to pop sub. Sorry, to storage. New short. Streaming all the data. So info is going to be creating our folder here. You're going to see all the login stuff here. Takes a while. Workers have started successfully. Very good. Actually, the site, this Java site is just two classes. Very simple to work with them. I can share it at you. Here we're going to. I'll run that again. Successfully, successfully. Here we go. Just uh, every single log of the output of the application has just put into my samples folder. It's on the execution, it's shown on my command execution. Here you see the message that we throw from our Chrome expression. Do you guys remember? So For every, for every message is being sent, is going to be passing from the pub sub and uh, I directly create like connection to the storage. 
per, it's pretty simple to connect all of them. In this case, I'm going to show here the dependency, which I used. We are using uh, Dataflow. Everything about BIM, it's something right, to, to, with the data flow, etc. Okay, it's just login stuff and the Maven plugins. Pretty simple. So that's how simple that is to work with the um, to work with PubSub and with the storage too. Can double check this. Oh, let's run here another time. The messages, yeah. So in that case, it's going to be overriding insight. Here, as operator. Let's see if I can do something interesting now, which is going to be with the um, four. You know, we're on four. I got to do the four thing, which is going to be going to create a, a loop for into and then going to do make a do execute my command. I maybe it miss it. No, in this case, I think it's not acceptable with that. Or I should do like uh, I think I can change that. After the do, we have to stop with the dot comma here. Maybe what I missed. I'm going to be checking out the right here. All the messages away. So we ran three applications. So, okay. In this case, this last one thing. Okay, here. Let's do it. Uh, you can see the charge is changing. We can open four. The messages are rising so much as I'm sending constantly hundreds of messages. For every, for every instance, it gets a new new file. So 
it's going to be always the same. It received on the period. Okay, you can change. This is going to be always one. So, pretty simple. And that's how you can work with a scheduler. You can connect to the pub sub and you can stream all of that into the storage. Like uh, my login stuff, whatever. On the pub sub, you can get your message and you can handle the way you want, etc. In the case, I just pass through the message. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.